And I'm so excited to have this. All of the meals that we meal prepped for this week. We Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna be doing a meal prepping video. I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I'm gonna show you everything I got. And then we're gonna prep some healthy-ish but delicious meal prep ideas and also what I'm gonna make for the week. I have to reorganize my fridge because it's a complete mess. I thought that this is something cool that I don't usually share and I love making food, so let's get into it. This is the state of my fridge right now. It's pretty sad and honestly, this needs to go. This is a cake that went bad. This is a flaxseed gel that uses a face mask. We have a random ranch packet. We have some stuff that just has to go and obviously needs to be reorganized. So we're gonna do that when we get home, but first we're gonna go grocery shopping. So I usually start off by figuring out what I'm gonna make for the week and this can be by looking on Pinterest or TikTok. TikTok is actually great for finding recipes, but what I like to do is look around my house and see what I already have. For example, if I have some extra meat for Kyle, which these are going to be vegetarian slash non-vegetarian recipes because I'm vegetarian and my fiance is not. So I kind of make two separate things or make the same thing and then swap out the protein. Um, but like I said, if I have extra meat or I have extra vegetables or anything in my fridge freezer or pantry, then I kind of make the meal centered around that. Once I figure out what I'm gonna make, I go into my notes app and I write down all the meals and all the ingredients, what that looks like, and then I just go through and see if I have any of this stuff already. I will mark it off and then I also use this as my grocery list as well in the store. I'm gonna grab my grocery bags because I don't wanna forget them and we're gonna head to the store and start shopping. In the parking lot and whenever I do errands but specifically grocery shopping I always bring my headphones because I feel like places like the grocery store can be overstimulating I don't care what day or what time you go they're always so busy and there's so much going on that sometimes I can't focus and I'll forget stuff so I love having my headphones I usually just listen to my current playlist and it also just helps nobody talks to me I don't have to worry about anything else but getting what I need to get so I put my headphones on I've got my reusable bags and I've got my list and I need a dollar for the cart so I don't know how much I'm gonna film in there considering but I will make sure to give you guys a full haul when I get back home I'm back from the store this is my haul of everything I got this haul was $102, which still seems expensive, but hopefully it's worth it when we see all the meals that we got. First, I actually went to the dollar store and got some meal prep containers because to be honest, guys, this is like my first time fully meal prepping for like multiple meals. Usually I just cook dinner or lunch and then I'll make like enough for leftovers for the next day or so. But this time I'm gonna try to make actual meal leftovers. So I got just some of these clear reusable containers and I also got two of these small ones for like when I make chia puddings or snacks or something like that. I got a loaf of white bread for like breakfasts and stuff like that. I got creamer for Kyle. I got a can of coconut cream. I use this in my chia pudding. If you haven't tried coconut cream, this is what makes it like sweet and creamy. It's way better than just almond milk. So I really highly recommend you use that. I got a can of corn and a can of beans for one of the meals. I got some tzatziki. I got some boccaccini cheese. I got a lime and a red onion, cilantro and a tomato. I got some bananas. I got four red bell peppers. I got a thing of autumn crisp grapes for snacking and stuff. I got some smoked tofu. I recently tried smoked tofu over regular and I really, really like it. I pretty much just been buying this kind now. I got some butter, got some fries because one of the meals I wanna make, I just feel like fries would go good with it. Although now I'm thinking, I don't know if fries are gonna meal prep well. So I don't know if we'll make these in advance or not, but just to have in the freezer. I got one sweet potato. got some cocoa powder because I didn't have any and I like to have chocolate chia pudding. I got a big bag of white rice because I was out. A carton of vanilla almond milk. This is 
I think this is the sweetened one. This candy cane lane ice cream, if you know, you know, every single year this comes around in the holidays. I can't help myself. This stuff is so good and I've never tried. These are their cookie dough bites. Look how good those look. I can't wait. Got some guacamole chips, which I snacked on in the car because I haven't eaten anything today yet and I was hungry. So these are actually pretty good. And last but not least, I got this huge thing of chicken. This is six chicken breasts for $17, which was the best deal that I could find. Obviously, this is all for Kyle, it's not for me, but I'm thinking we can use these for multiple meals and then freeze the rest, so it ends up being a pretty good deal. There are some things I have at home that weren't in this haul that we're gonna use for meal prepping too, so stay tuned. For the rest of this, you can see all the ingredients I'm actually using, but just keep in mind that I do have stuff that's not in here. Before we can start cooking, I obviously need to deal with the mess that is my fridge. So I'm going to start by taking out the stuff that's not bad. Like here I had some sweet potato pasta I made that I had some leftovers of it, but it honestly wasn't that good. So I didn't finish it and now it's gone bad. This celebration cake that my mom got me to celebrate our engagement, but this has gone bad and there's barely any left. So a arugula that is expired, coleslaw that is expired. I honestly have a love-hate relationship with getting coleslaw because I usually buy it for one meal and I don't like to eat it by itself as a salad. So I'm like, it's gonna go bad. I don't think you can freeze coleslaw. So, well you could, but I don't think it would be very good after. So I feel like I always have some leftover and I don't really like that. I have some chocolate pancakes that I had already meal prepped for breakfast this week. And I think these are still okay. So I'm gonna keep them in the fridge. Okay, I just took this completely out and there's something disgusting that's spilled under there. So I'm definitely gonna clean that first. Okay, it is all clean now. That is a whole better. I just put a couple things in here for now. This is obviously not the final look, but at least it's clean. I'm just going to start putting some things away. I like to keep my pasta and my rice in containers on the counter. Even though I know that I have it, this just makes it like more accessible and I'm more likely to use it. Plus, it kind of looks nice. I'm also going to wash these grapes, so I'm just gonna put them in a bowl of water. Hopefully this doesn't overflow. Put these in a bowl of cold water, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of baking soda. Just a dash of vinegar, baking soda. And then obviously we're gonna mix this up so it's not just sitting on the top. I feel like this bowl is too small. Let's let this sit for like, 20 minutes the first thing i'm going to do is chop what i need to chop so that's out of the way and then we can start the actual cooking we're going to chop this red onion and i'm going to use this in our burrito bowls for our pasta and sometimes i like to use red onion for breakfast hash browns if we have extra so i think i'm going to do diced and also slices my eyes are burning Next, I'm going to cut one or two bell peppers for the burrito bowls, and then the other two I'm going to roast and use for the pasta. So I don't know if I'm gonna cut those ones, but I'm gonna cut one or two for the burrito bowls. Next, I'm going to peel and slice my sweet potato. Um, we're gonna roast this later on, but I'm just gonna pre-slice it. I'm also going to cut this lime for wedges for my burrito bowls. I love cilantro and I feel like fresh herbs can make such a big difference in your cooking. So even if, even if I'm just using them for one recipe and once you start making stuff throughout the week, you can throw this on a bunch of different stuff and it just adds so much flavor. And then to store herbs so they last longer, I keep them in a jar of water like this and I usually cover the top with a Ziploc bag or something. You wanna keep them like flowers and then put them in your fridge and they last so much longer. And go like that and then stick this in my fridge. For my smoked tofu, a lot of times I like to grate it, but I'm actually just gonna cut it into very small cubes for my burrito bowls. And I don't think I'm gonna use these in any of my other recipes because I have other sources of plant-based protein. 
So I'm just gonna cut this block for the burrito bowl. So I'm gonna do slices this way and look down like this. The key to really good tofu is texture and flavor. So I found that by marinating your tofu like you would marinating meat, it makes such a big difference overnight or 20 minutes, however long you can. It really just makes a big difference. And here I'm going to put a little bit of oil, some salt and pepper, a little bit of soy sauce, some taco seasoning to kind of emulate that ground beef. And then garlic powder. I feel like I put this in literally everything. So I'm just gonna give this a mix. We're gonna let it marinate while we cook the rest of the stuff and then we will cook this as well. We're gonna do two different marinades. We're gonna do one for the bowls and then one for the wraps. We're gonna do salt and pepper on both of them. And same thing as the tofu, we're gonna do taco seasoning on this one. Garlic powder some dried herbs. I don't actually know which herbs these are, if they're thyme or rosemary or oregano or what, but we're just gonna go with that. I'm just gonna do a little bit of lemon juice as well. So I'm gonna rub these spices in and then I'm gonna put these on a pan and then we'll bake them in the oven. On this pan, we're going to do some of our veggies. So first I'm gonna do my sweet potato and we're gonna put some her we're gonna put some spices on this and just cook it in the oven. And on the other half, I'm going to do roasted broccoli and chickpeas. I love this combination, it's so good. We're gonna use this for the inside of our Greek wraps. I'm going to put on my chickpeas as well. Also got some frozen broccoli, so we're gonna use this up and fry that as well in the oven. We're gonna do a light coat of olive oil on all of this. On the cauliflower, I'm going to do garlic powder. I'm also gonna do paprika. Just a little bit of nutritional yeast because I recently discovered this is so good on here. On the sweet potato, I'm actually gonna do a little bit of cinnamon. Just trust me, it tastes so good. Two cups of rice and three and a half cups of water in here. I'm gonna put this on to boil. While that's cooking in the oven, we're going to make our chia pudding. So I'm going to open up my cream of coconut. It literally looks like thick cream. Give this a stir and all the natural sugars and everything are gonna mix into it. Okay, so usually I just make this with chia seeds, but recently I've been eating these chia and oat packets. So they're already ready to go, but I do like to mix a couple extra things in there. So we're going to use these. And these already do have chocolate, but they're just not chocolatey enough. So we're going to do just underneath two-thirds cup because I want to do some of the coconut cream. I'm going to do half a cup of almond milk in each of these. And this is already sweetened with vanilla, but if it's not, I recommend adding vanilla to it. Just a little bit of the coconut cream. A little bit extra cocoa powder in each of these. And I'm only making two of these because I switch up what I want for breakfast a lot. And a lot of the times I want something savory and I don't want something sweet. So that's why I'm just making two sweet things. And then for the rest of breakfasts, I'll just have something savory. Okay, I'm just gonna try it. Honestly, so good. And we're just gonna put the lids on these and stick them in the fridge. Now we're going to pan cook our tofu. So I'm just going to heat up some oil and then once this is heated, I'll put the tofu in. Add our tofu. I'm gonna just spread these out so they're all touching the pan evenly so that I can get a nice little crisp on them. I'm going to transfer it to some paper towel to absorb the excess oil. All right, this is kind of stressful, I'm not gonna lie, but we have three meals going so far. So we've got stuff for burrito bowls, we've got Greek wraps, and now I'm making the third meal, which is going to be rice, but a different rice because I have like a Ben's packet left. So we're gonna do rice, sausage, and the broccoli that we have in the oven. And then also the sweet potato. 
it's done. It's done? Okay, perfect. Okay, so we've got our tofu and our plant-based sausage here. I kind of <laughs> I kind of definitely burnt the top of it, but it's still gonna taste good. We're gonna cut it up, it's fine. I've got the broccoli here. I've got Kyle's sausages cooking. I've got the chicken breast that's done. I've got corn and beans going right now. I've got rice that's done. Cooking is done and it's finally time to start assembling. So we're gonna start with the burrito bowls. First, we're going to fill these with rice. On top of the rice, I'm going to put the corn and beans. On two of these, I'm going to put the tofu. Cheese, which I'm just gonna put on top of the beans. Some red onions. I'm going to do some red pepper. A little bit of tomato. Cilantro. One wedge of lime in each of these. So I shredded the chicken and I'm just gonna put the chicken in like I did the tofu. Okay, so these are the finished bowls. I'm actually so happy with how they turned out. They look super, super delicious and I'm so excited to have this ready to go to eat. And when we serve these burrito bowls, I'm gonna put obviously some sour cream and salsa, but I just don't like when things get soggy. So I'm gonna do that when I serve it and not right now. Now we're gonna do our next meal, which is the sausage and stuff. So I'm not sure if this is gonna fill four. So I might just do two, but we'll see. I'm gonna split this. And this is pretty small, so that's why I feel like I should just do these in two. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the sausage in. This is Kyle's sausage, so I'm gonna do both of them in one. And my burnt sausage in the other one. And then I'm gonna to top it off with sweet potato and just a little bit of broccoli. Our second meal is done. These are looking awesome, and I feel like these will probably be a lunch because they're just a little bit smaller, but I'm loving the way it looks and all the colors. Now for our last meal, we're gonna do Greek wraps. And these ones I actually am gonna put the tzatziki on because the wraps are a little bit dry. They were in my freezer. So I'm going to put the tzatziki on right away. And then, like I said, for these ones, we're gonna make fries when we eat them because I don't feel like reheating fries would be a good idea. I'm gonna start with a little bit of tzatziki on each one. For Kyle's, I'm going to put his Greek chicken on. Then I'm just going to put our chickpeas and veggies on mine. I am gonna put some veggies on Kyle's as well. I just want more of the chickpeas in mine for that protein red onions and i'm also going to do a slice of tomato on each of them so this is meal four done the greek wraps all right so this is all of the meals that we meal prepped for this week we have five meals for two people which is super awesome and then we've got two breakfasts and remember we also still have ingredients in the fridge for another meal which is the red pepper pasta so any of these could be used as dinners or lunches and although that was a kind of stressful experience i looking at this feel so super proud this is what my fridge is looking like now so much better i think it's funny that the only thing i have in here is garlic but usually i use this for fresh produce but i just don't really have a ton right now because we just meal prepped it all we've got our chia seed oat pudding that we made for breakfast i've still got my pancakes i've got fresh grapes to snack on which is awesome over here, I just have the extra peppers and onion that we cut up. I'm gonna use this to throw into breakfast hash browns. Then we've got the extra tzatziki, sour cream, and salsa back there for burrito bowls. I have this one container in my fridge that I use this to put all the ingredients for one meal, which I absolutely love this idea. So I've got onions, chicken, red peppers, and the boccaccini. This is everything I need to make the pasta. So whenever I'm ready to make it, I just pull this out and I have everything ready there and I think it saves so much time. I've got one of my meal preps here. I've got all the rest of them here. They're like all the way to the back. Another breakfast that I love having is 
bread with peanut butter and banana. So I'm gonna have that as another breakfast option as well. So that's gonna be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do this. It was honestly a process and we'll have to see how worth it I find it at the end of this week just having ready to go meals. Because like I said, I don't usually meal prep this much in advance. I feel like it might be a little bit easier on me to just meal prep every two days or something, but we'll see how it goes. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content so I know and I can make more of it. Can't wait to have all of these yummy meals, so thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!